hello guys welcome to my youtube channel you are watching data science insight so today we will learn about strings and uh, how we manipulate the strings and we will learn also about the built-in function which uh, the most common use uh, in full stack data science so uh, i have got a comment of uh, and they say that please explain the format uh, dot format function in the strings so let me explain you a little bit this first so when i make a string suppose my my name is a and my last name is b here i make a string and then i will apply format dot format method and then i will assign a value to a and i will assign also to b so when i print it it will fill up with this a and b so this is how it work if i put the if i want to remove the string from the sides then i can put it in the print and now here it will remove the string you see i can also uh, write it in another different way which is also very easy suppose if I write name and then I write Shaya then I write age and then I write 20 here I can write print string so my name is I will write here comma and then I will write the variable then I will say my age is and then I will make it as a string and I will here age yeah so you see it uh, filled up in here and here because I have assigned this two strings to this variable this is how the format uh, work and we can use this way also now let's talk about built-in function there are many built-in function in strings so uh, let's say the strings are denoted by this and it can not be uh, uh, safe if you uh, change something in this so it will be saved uh, as a first time which you have you cannot uh, you cannot uh, save uh, change it's actually immutable the strings now you will see how it is immutable so suppose i write here i can make i can uh, not uh, add a string with a uh, integer suppose if i say a khan and then i want to uh, add integer with it it cannot work if i make this to string the integer in string first I will change it and then it will work so when I print a you see it come with this either you can you, uh, if I write here like this that a is equal to I make a list suppose uh, one two three four five and then I make b is equal to and so when I uh, when I want to add these two a plus b I cannot add it because string cannot be added in this way either both should be list so if I make this as a list now uh, check here that I am making this as a list now list with list can be added in this way you can append a list or you can use some built-in function and you can put there inside something so let's see some built-in function now functions now so if i make a variable m and i can write here uh, khan then i write here m dot I will press tab when you press the tab it will pop up like this when 
So these all are the built-in functions and there are many, a lot. There are a lot, but some common use, we will only learn that. So when I use capitalize, so check the function of this. It make the K capital. So the capitalize function used to make the first word capital. There are a lot also if I write here a dot I press tab and then I write here uh, uppercase yeah uh, m sorry m dot upper so all will be changed to uppercase here so before I told you that uh, uh, strings cannot be saved uh if you change it here we change it in uppercase but if we check this m this m will be the old one you see here this one so that's why strings are immutable uh so this show me that one the same now i can do this like also lowercase so it will change all the words into lower the function of this is there is another uh, which is most use uh, common use is m dot I can use count function uh, suppose here when I use here and I give here a it will show me one is actually show me how many time it repeated in this m in this m how many times the a repeated in this and uh, if i write here m dot uh, find what we want to find if i want to find a uh, it will show me index the a will show me index so uh, here is on number two index k zero one two so it show me on number two if i write here m is equal to my name is uh, khan and then now if i write uh, m dot find yeah here if i write name so it will consider the first starting element that this is on this index now let's run it three so zero one two three so it means the name this is on index three starting so it show me here that we suppose we have a condition and you want to find where is uh, this name khan or where is is when this is a paragraph you can easily find it at which index it is starting and which is uh, and this is in there so there are a lot of uh, like uh, if you say here suppose uh, slide uh, split there is a function which you can say split when you split it it will split a uh, in slices is in a uh, word you see here small small but if I write here split and I want to make it on the base of comma so now you see it remove all the commas from here and it return me value in form of a list these square brackets are lists i can save this also so if i say a you see now this is saved so what i did i take the string here and i change it into list and now i save this list I can add a list with list I can append I can do anything with list we will uh, learn a list later in the upcoming video in detail today we will uh, learn like uh, built-in functions so now here if I print again M if I say here M dot there is one another function swap case it mean to change the the letters into big and the big into lower case suppose m is equal to i write capital my name is k h a n 
in this this show me all the capital letters because here you see all was a lower case now in this it will show me the upper will be changed into lower lower will be changed into upper you see all of this so this is used for that situation so now if i have a string a is equal to my name is Khan and I want to find the index of this of each word so first I will find the index of where is this word actually yeah so it will show me it is on 11 number index starting now I will do this that I will make it save with a variable b and I will use for loop for i in range length length of of what of Khan so 0 1 2 3 yeah here I will now see here that print b plus i it will show me each index of this uh, word it's on 11 12 13 14 how this come now so here the i here for range i so it become 11 yeah because the b here if you find it here it is 11 so the i become 11 so 11 plus 0 is equal to 11 11 plus 1 12 13 14 so in this way it print the the all the indexes as i see that b, b plus i so b was what b was 11 what was i i was the range length length of this word 1 2 3 4 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 was the length of this if suppose i right here like this let me show you in easy way print i you see so i is 0 1 2 3 so every time the b 11 the word start from 11 so 11 plus 0 11 now this will execute 11 plus 1 12 13 14 so in this way the for loop also work with this fine so uh, you can practice all of these these are uh, actually the basics uh, very basics like uh, with the a string suppose um, if I write here Khan and then I multiply this with uh, 60 so this will give me 60 times Khan 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 like this so these are actually the basic uh, basics uh, of strings uh, which will be used in uh, machine learning and in the future uh, you don't need to know all of that the uh, the functions like uh, uh, these in code and these you will learn it uh, with the time uh, when the time come so you don't need to worry so you can practice all of this today and um, uh, so uh, see you next time have a good day bye